going to migrate a project from Final Cut Pro 10 to Adobe Premiere Pro. This project contains titles, transitions, color correction, multicam shots, alpha channel graphics, speed variations, and I've animated a camera move. In the timeline, you can see where I've applied dissolves. I've also added level keyframes to the music track, applied an audio dissolve to sound effects, and for the multicam, selected audio from A camera and picture from B camera. You can see I've varied the speed for this clip. I've applied a custom LUT and added transform keyframes to create a subtle camera push in. My event contains B roll, interviews, music, titles, and sound effects. I'd like to export not just the project sequence, but the entire event that includes all of my organized master clips. I'll select the event, go to the File menu, and choose Export XML. I'll name the file BTS Event Export and save it to my XML export folder. From the Metadata View menu, I typically select General or Extended, but if you're working with HDR or MXF files, you have other options. And because I'm using the most recent version of Adobe Premiere, I can select Current Version. If you're using an older version of Premiere Pro, you might try version 1.6. Click Save. Premiere can import Final Cut 7 XML files, but it can't read Final Cut 10 XML files. So we have to use a third-party application to translate Final Cut 10 back into Final Cut 7 XML files. I use an app called Project X27, or X2CC, from Intelligent Assistance. I'll launch that application, go to the File menu, and open the XML we just exported. From my XML Exports folder, I'll select the Final Cut 10 XML. Notice the extension is .fcpxml. That's what Premiere does not read. So we'll open it, select all video and audio information, and I'd like audio volume levels and keyframes to migrate too. I'll press OK. I'll save this to my XML exports bin and launch Premiere Pro. I've created a brand new project in Premiere, and from the project panel, I'll right click and choose Import. Now I'll select BTS Event Export. This is the .xml file that was translated by X2CC, the Intelligent Assistance software. I'll choose Import. You'll see a translation report. Click OK. A bin appears in the sequence, and inside, it contains all the bins and the sequence created in Final Cut Pro 10. I'll do some quick organization. I'll select the sequence, Command X Cut, Create a new bin named 01 Sequences and paste the sequence into its new bin. Now I'll pull the master clip bins out of the imported folder, then cut and paste into the main project. And I'll rename the bin that contains the clips that connect to the sequence. Now I'll double click on the sequence so we can examine the results. I can already see that my audio levels and keyframes have migrated. My cross dissolves appear on both picture and sound. The title I created came across. It lost the font I used, but it's possible I need to install that with Adobe Typekit. It looks like my customized Final Cut Pro wipes were replaced with standard wipes. A and B camera angles for the multi-clip migrated, but I was expecting this to be a nested sequence. Premiere usually imports the multi-clips from Final Cut Pro as multi-cam sequences as long as there's fewer than four camera angles. But if that clip was flattened in Final Cut, you'll see what I have here, which is the two synced camera angles along with the audio placed directly into the timeline. I might have inadvertently flattened the multi-clip in Final Cut Pro. The speed variation migrated, and the alpha channel was recognized on my graphic file. It looks like the keyframes for my camera move didn't come across, nor did the custom color LUT. But overall, my tracks look great, all clips are present and accounted for, and many effects and settings have migrated well. Now I'm ready to continue editing in Adobe Premiere Pro.